Hey there, golf lovers. Looking to step up your game? Let me tell you about Molly Box, the ultimate golf subscription box. Every month, Molly Box sends you a box packed with premium golf gear, accessories, and stylish apparel, all delivered right to your door. Imagine getting top tier apparel and more, all handpicked just for you. With Molly Box, you'll stay ahead of the game and boost your performance. It's like having a personal caddy in a box. So why wait? Join the Molly Box family today. Head over to mollybox.com and use your limited time promo code ROGUE25, ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E-25 for 25% off your first box. That's mollybox.com. Most bankers aren't ready to help you until after their third cup of coffee. But with Central National Bank's after-hours service, you don't have to wait for the bank lobby to open to get help. You can contact us from 6 to 8.30 in the morning or from 5 to 10 in the evening, and we'll connect you to a real, live, local person who can answer questions and fix problems seven days a week. Bank different. Bank central. Central National Bank. Member FDIC. Hey everybody, welcome to What's Up Waco with Erica Boisvert, your local Waco agent. We are going to be getting into some good information about downtown Waco. We will also touch on the real estate market. That's the world I live in. Hey everybody, welcome to What's Up Waco with Erica Boisvert, your local real estate agent. Today, I have Jimmy Meeks joining me. Hello, Jimmy. What's up? (laughs) It must be a bottom of the barrel day. Oh, you stop that. It's a thank you so much for coming day because you will be fun. I got donuts. <laughs> I like to bribe people. That's right. If, if you want to be on the podcast, let me know. Chunky men get donuts. Stop. So, Jimmy. Yes. You're a little bit busy around Waco. A little bit. A little bit. Um, I want to talk to you today about two things. Number one, your number one business. Woo-hoo. Is it your number one? Yeah. Is it your favorite? Mm, I've hated it all my life. <laughs> they make me go under houses. <laughs> Um, it's a, it's a lovely family owned business. <laughs> yeah. You don't see none of them climbing under it. Do you? <laughs> no. You're going to send your grandpa under there? I swear I would. <laughs> what if you could? I would if I could. <laughs> He'd probably go. Well, tell me. Okay. So tell me about that one. So it's advanced house, house leveling, leveling and foundation repair. Yep. That's us. All right. So one of the things that caught me off guard moving here and selling homes here was, um, every house I walk into. <laughs> I'm like, well, there's a crack. Well, there's a crack. And then in some other places, I'm like, whoa. Yeah. That wall is just separated. But everybody's like, oh, no, it's Texas. It's totally normal. Yeah. It, I mean, that's why we can't build basements down here. They would just all implode. Just fall. Just be like, Mer. Yeah. Eh. Okay. I can't make that sound. So do it again. I don't, what'd I do? Er. Yeah. Er. Close enough? I was all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. So tell me, okay, so family owned, let's back up. Yep. So who started it? Great granddaddy. Great granddaddy. Albert okay. Lewis. Okay. I'd show you a picture, but I guess this is radio. I don't really do much <laughs> you, for it. You can show me. We can. Okay. I'll All describe. Right. No, I'm just kidding. He, he is <laughs> pulling his phone out. We're going to look at a picture of his great granddaddy. So he started it, and then it went down. 1897. Yeah, it's gone way down since no. then. <laughs> <sighs> Was passed down. When did you start working at it? Uh, when I was 12. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. This picture is really cool. If we can, if we can put it online later. Yep. Somewhere we will. Yeah. He was involved in that. Holy cow. They raised it up the side of a hill. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'd want to live in that house, but I'm sure you guys did a great job or he did. It's still there. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. You'll have to tell me where. I'm going to go. Text me the address. We'll do. Okay. Okay, so great granddaddy started it. Yep. And then granddad took over in thirty nine. My dad took over in sixty nine. I took over in ninety six. Oh, okay. Man. Not bad. Not bad at all. And you've managed to keep it yeah, pretty much yeah, ever, all uh, family. Shocked the whole family. <laughs> They're like, no way, Jimmy pull it off. <laughs> They're like, man, we gave him like five days. <laughs> And look at you. I know. All these years later. Still I don't want, getting paid in donuts. I don't want to say how long later, because I graduated in 96. And I don't feel like doing that math. I uh, graduated no. before you. Well, that's okay. Yeah, but chicks look hotter than men do over time. Oh, disagree. I'm not arguing with the woman. 
Look how that worked out the first Smart. time. Smart. Yeah. Oh, it'll be okay. We'll be all right. So what is something that you find, because um, I know a lot of buyers, when they walk through a house and they see cracks in the drywall or yeah. cracks in the exterior brick, they're Br- Brick are off. all cosmetic. You could rip every brick off of a house. It'll still stand there. Just because you have a crack in the brick doesn't mean anything. The foundation is the um, structure part of it. Okay. Look at your door frames. Door frames will tell you everything. If your doors are working, then you've just got some seasonal cracks, some seasonal movement. If you've got water pooling around your house, you're going to eventually call me. If okay. you've got rain gutters draining right at your corner, you're going to eventually call me. I know, right? Wow. So people think those gutters are doing what they're supposed to be doing and diverting the water, yeah. but if it's just chilling there in the corner, then... Yeah, then they're going to write me a $10,000 check. Good gracious. Because what happens is you take... Nobody's taught anybody how to use the drainage correctly. You take the whole length of the wall, say it's 50 foot, you get a one inch rain, you get rain like today, Mm -hmm. and you drain it all at the corner, and then the whole rest of the wall stays dry. Then the whole wall swells up at the corners, shrinks, contracts, shrinks, and contracts, and then you've got two different moisture contents 15 feet away. And so there's where your cracks show up. So in Texas, is part of the problem... The high, high heat and the high humidity. Yeah. And then the first six feet of soil normally is real unstable. Okay. And then you've got the layer of clay. So it's just, there's, we get asked all the time, well, how come the builder didn't do something to keep this from happening? Unless you go six to 10 to 12 to 20 foot deep, you're not going to stop it. And nobody's going to do that. Mm -mm. And then you're looking at a crazy cost. You can't afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, if you build two houses side by side and you do a foundation the way we would, You'd spend twenty five thousand dollars more for a house, and you won't see what that result is till twenty years down the road when the neighborhood's fixing his, and you're not fixing yours. Well, most people are not going to worry about that. They're going to be like, "Well, I'd rather have twenty thousand more in my kitchen." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a good long term investment. Yeah, that's a lot of money. To, so, what but most would be people the don't average... stay in their house twenty years? No, no, about seven. Mm-hmm. So. What would be the average like repair that you feel like you see most of the time? About fifty eight hundred. Okay, that's not bad. No, if you catch it early, then you're only going to fix a portion, and okay. if you stop that portion from moving, the rest of it hasn't moved yet. So that dirt that's under there is more stable than the dirt that failed. Okay. Then we show you how to not have more problems, because we're not a commission based company. That one was me. Okay. That's my foreman calling. Uh Uh-oh. Do you need to take that? Let's ask him a question. (laughs) What you want, Juan? Hey, boss. You see the picture I sent you? No, not yet. I'm on the radio. Can I call you back? (laughs) Uh, Yeah. All right, thanks. Speaking of radio, if you you recognize Jimmy's voice, it's because you hear him all the time on the radio. At (laughs) fixitjimmy.com. I'm the one that got in trouble for giving out their mom and dad's personal cell phone that was hilarious though i I died yeah my mom was not happy you know what cracks me up though one time i think i asked you for your email and you're like it's fixitjimmy.com and i was like duh yeah literally (laughs) knew that i felt so stupid okay so when you're talking about that foundation repair um would that be a slab yeah okay so what Uh, do you see with like pier and beam because there's a ton of those you gotta keep water out from under a pier and beam house okay but also the you're going to have the same perimeter problems. Okay. Because you've got piers that are, say, 50 to 100 years old, and if you've got the weight of the house sitting on either a block or a pad or even the old cedar posts, Mm -hmm. they're only a couple of feet in the ground. So that water is going to penetrate below them. You've got the weight of the house sitting on it for 100 years. It's going to sink. Well, and not just that. What about wood rot and... and, uh... Oh, yeah, there's tons Like of that. infestation as well, right? That can eat away at it too? Yeah. So having good pest yeah. would be helpful for pier and beam? Yeah, just just get it treated and just keep mud or keep your dirt from turning into mud. Okay. So pier and beam is new for me, so I've had to learn kind of a, a lot about it. I don't, I don't like answering this question, Jimmy. Way up north. Sure. Let, let me guess. Let me, Indiana. No. Am I close? No. Hmm. A lot of women tell me that. <laughs> Get away from me. Damn it, Jimmy. Um, West. I thought you knew where Scott and I came from. Oh, Callie. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all are the reasons. We don't need to say that so loud. I apologize. 
Yes. I'll whisper it. Thank you. Cowboy. I was born. I was born in Colorado, which doesn't help much right now. No, no. Well, hey, I mean, just bring munchies. I. <laughs> That's why I got donuts today. That's why it? you got donuts. I was right, ready. Cool. I was yeah. prepared. Hey. Uh, no, but I, I do tell anybody my grandma's from Sweetwater. Oh. So I've got some roots. Don't be too mad at me. No, no. We we love everybody that comes here. You do. Mm-hmm. You do. We try. I know. So a That's home's... I got charges. No, <laughs> wait, God what? Bless it. <laughs> You're the one that invited me. I did, and I'm happy I did. <laughs> Said no um, woman ever. We're gonna edit a lot of this yeah, out. A lot, but yeah. thank but God it'll we're be not fun. live. Mike won't. <laughs> Mike won't be bored later with this no, one. <laughs> no, we'll be all right. Um. Okay. So for your typical homeowner, or maybe like a buyer who's looking, or even a seller who wants to do an inspection prior to putting their house on the market, mm-hmm. is that something that? That you would offer as a service? Do you guys yeah. come in and take a look? Yeah. If you tell us that you've got a realtor involved, it's free. If nice. you don't, if you tell us you don't have a realtor involved, just ask for me. I'll still make it free. <laughs> I can't enough. get fired. No, you can't. Mm-mm. Unless you get really mad at yourself. Do you ever oh. quit? Do you ever quit during the day and just be like, I'm done? <laughs> you guys, Jana. She, she's <laughs> taking everything sharp out of my office. Oh, no. Yep. You give her a good run for her money. Yeah, but I have to pay her really well to stick around. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. Bless her. It's a love hate relationship. I love her. She hates me. <laughs> I feel like everybody loves you. Yeah, no, I've, I've been single my whole life. That's a whole other, whole I other show. I got asked if I was gay the other day. Again? By my granddad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I mean, I mean, no offense. To it's a generational concern. Yeah, he's looking for the next generation. <laughs> he's like, well, "What's going to happen to the company? Oh, we're going to die. I ain't got no kids. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Mm-mm. End of story. Yeah. Just dry up. Ah, no. That was the only sound I could make. It works. Yeah. It sounded like drying up. I like it. Okay. Fair Good. enough. Cool. Um, and then so for people who are looking at a home, like a buyer walking yeah. through a house, you said brick cracks. Cosmetic, don't stress. Yeah. Look at door frames. Mm-hmm. Door frames or the little corner pieces of wood on the outside where the brick hide behind the little fascia board or freeze oh, board front. if you're up north. Out front? Yeah. Okay, so check those corners. So then even like the like if I'm walking around and there's a split crack coming down and it's not like following a, a sheetrock seam or anything mm-hmm. and it's off. Yeah. Would that be, I'm totally using my hand to gesture and yeah, nobody like can that. see me except for you. Um, would that be concerning? It, mm-hmm. it, if you've got a sheetrock crack and it's in the seam, you may not have a big problem. If it's ripping the sheetrock itself, that's a different story. Okay, so angle Yeah. might come come look at it. Yeah, because that just means it's moving quickly. But down the seam, eh, expected. Yeah, pretty normal. just have real cheap sheetrock okay. fixes if your husband's like really bad at it. Or if you're a bad husband, you have your wife fixing them. What if the wife is really good at it? That's what I'm saying. I mean, we all have our jobs. Yeah, but like the husband should get up and help her. At least. Hold the ladder. He, yeah. Pick up the trash. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what? No, that was different. Yeah. If she's up on a ladder. Again, nobody can see my hands Mm-mm. right now. I think she did a butt grab. I did. Not yeah. on purpose. I'm going to get me a ladder. Hey, we want like a happy, happy wife, happy life, right? Hey, just remember this. <laughs> if I ever got married... My dad gave me the best uh, best advice in the world. Whatever your Can wife wants. Can this be said out loud? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. This is fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I know there's always got to be some kind of asterisk, <laughs> but whatever your wife wants is cheaper than half of everything you own. That's true. Mm-hmm. It's so weird that you've never really gone down the aisle, Jimmy. You, you Just seem not so enough open alcohol in the world. Oh, my God. I keep giving them alcohol. Come here. Oh, I thought you meant for you. Oh, no, I don't even drink. Could At you imagine all? me drunk? No. No, I've never drank. You'd be nonstop. Mm-hmm. Ever in your mm-hmm. life? Mm-hmm. Never. Huh. I get my mom on the phone. She can verify. I'd believe you. Okay. I don't think your mom likes you calling her anymore on these shows. <laughs> yeah, no. My mom giving out her number. cell number. <laughs> Are you really Jimmy's mom? How many phone calls did they get? Oh, hundreds. <gasps> oh, God. All hours of the day and night. Oh, because people just want to be like, yeah, right. Yeah. And then it was. Yeah, my mom had to change her answer machine. Yes, this is Jimmy's mom. <gasps> no, I'm not calling you back. <laughs> well, at that point, their curiosity is satisfied, yeah. right? Okay. Then I gave up my kid's sister's phone number. That was great. Wow. Yeah. And what about a favorite niece or nephew or anybody running around? I don't around? like none of them. No, so <laughs> nobody. <laughs> so advanced leveling is just yeah. done. Yeah. Bye. Yeah, they're off. 
No, oh I got gosh. two cool nephews and one good niece. They just don't let me babysit them anymore. Uh, anymore? Yeah. Oh. Long story. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll save that one. You're just going to have to come back for a bunch of shows. <laughs> Wait, oh, but speaking of, okay, yeah. so yes, foundation, awesome. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. In your head. Mm-hmm. And I saw that. Yeah. Um, and you also build. Yeah, build new houses. Matter of fact, we're the only builder, and nobody knows this, because I guess we don't advertise it. Mm-mm. We're the only builder in the United States that gives a lifetime warranty on a brand new slab. Do you really? Yeah, because we build it differently. I have to ask my real estate question. Okay. Transferable? Yeah. Nice. So lifetime transferable to every owner or transferable once? On the house. On the house. Stays with it. Yep. I love that. Oh, that one wasn't me oh, this that time. One. Ah, that one was me. I'm supposed to call somebody. I will call you later. She uh, said later. Later. So you're busy. You have all kinds of stuff going at all times. Mm-hmm. But one of the things I really love and want to bring to this show, What's Up Waco, is new stuff coming to the area? Yeah, that is super fun that yep. people don't know about. Like a girlfriend. Like, mm, I don't know. It could be super fun in the beginning. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. No, stop Aunt. it. You what? want me to bring you a girlfriend? No, maybe I'm bringing. You're one. bringing one. Are you bringing one? Yeah. Are you? If she says yeah. I'm so nosy. I'm like, did that work out? Yeah. Oh, okay, yay. Side side conversation here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, her. I thought it didn't work out. No, we fixed it. <gasps> I misunderstood. Oh, look at that. Amazing what some clear communication will do. I know, right? Hmm. I'm a typical guy. I know. That's fine. That's good. That's why you and Scott get along. Yeah. (laughs) One word answers all day long. You want to hear a funny thing? Also okay to say out loud? Yeah. Yeah. She's got six kids. I think you told me that. Six? What are you going to (laughs) do? I'm going to play with them. How old are they? Like three to 13. Good gracious. Yeah. It's not, I'll, I'll hit like the wife lotto on that one. <laughs> I don't have to change no diapers. None. None. They're already past it. Yeah. And she loves your dogs. Yeah. That's where I, I got mean, my dogs. Obviously. From. Yeah. Yay. So, oh, I'm glad you guys were. I didn't that even out. know she had a low bar. Stop it. <laughs> you are so mean to yourself. <laughs> but you're I'm consistent. You're such an amazing guy. You are very consistent. You're such an amazing guy. Well, she slipped up and said she liked tacos. And I was like, tacos? Really? We have tacos in Texas. Do you? A few. But see, she's from Wisconsin. Oh, then they're probably awesome. Yeah. I told her, bring cheese. She loves Texas tacos. Yeah. (laughs) Bring cheese. Yeah, bring cheese. Done deal. Done. Perfect combo. Not making a seventh. (laughs) Mm -mm. Lots of practice. Six is plenty. Yeah. You'll be fine. You're going to have to edit that last part. I I feel like he's going to have his hands full with this whole thing. We have a good banter. It's good. Yeah. It's fun. I'm good. I'm having fun. Sweet. What? That's when you say, me too, Erica. This is great. Oh, hang on. (laughs) All right. Take two. All right. I'm having fun. Oh, me too, Erica. (laughs) Hey. Hey, We got sound sound effects. effects. We're like little kids. We both got so excited. I know. I wish there was was a camera in here. (laughs) What's funny is that I was like, am I the only one that heard that? (laughs) I, I hear those things in my head all the time. I was going to say, we should just have somebody follow you around all the time. <laughs> Somebody's going to jail. Oh, maybe. I got good lawyers. I'll bet. Dunham. Dunham and Dunham? Oh, Dunham and Dunham? Mm-hmm. Yes, they do not mess Jim around. Dunham. The Jim Dunham. <gasps> yes, I know. Actually, that's how we uh, email met, because I helped with one of the transactions that y'all did together okay, in cool. Waco. Anyway, so yes, I know that uh, Jim does not mess around. Mm-mm. Um, okay, wait, I was going somewhere with this. Okay. What are you bringing to Waco? Oh, it's called K1 Speed. Yes. It's the high speed and low speed indoor electric go-karts. And they're so fun. Yeah, and we're going to be the only track we believe, we haven't been able to clarify this, but we think this is accurate, with the only indoor banked track. Yeah, the one that we went to was flat. flat. And yep. just like, womp, womp. Yep. Yep, no warrant work. We'll have a warrant work track, but not <laughs> for warrant work. Like, for like younger kids? Yeah, for warrant workers. Because it's an excellent place for warrant workers to yeah. celebrate their birthdays. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we went to a lot. I was going to build it to meet women, but that, um, my friend was like, N- no. <laughs> because you already met her? Yeah. <laughs> and that was Weird. about in the same time frame of, I found out that she had that low bar. Jimmy, I can't say your whole name. Jimmy Meeks, I'm just going to leave it there. (laughs) 
Do y'all know how? Say your whole name. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Come on, you're not gonna do it. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Just call me Tonka. <laughs> Trust me. The first time he pulled that on me, it was like the longest, never ending. Yeah, that's a long story. <laughs> Fine. Fine, Jimmy. Um, K1 Speed, though, will be a lot of fun. Yeah. For locals. When do you guys think you'll be opening the doors? We're hoping to start construction September 1st, and we think we can be open January 1st. Ah, that'd so, be so for fun. all the people trying to recover from <laughs> for all the hangovers. New Year's, yeah. Bring us your kids. Come drive in circles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Will you have plenty of trash cans available? Yeah, we'll, we'll have on onboard bags. Problem solved. Yeah, that's it. Constant problem and solved. And then we'll have a, one indoor-outdoor track, one indoor track, and then one kitty track. But then after hours, if you get to know the owners, we got the keys. We can turn off the governors, open the gates. And take off the helmets. Yeah, call that's, the lawyers. That's my least favorite part. Yeah. I told you that, though. Yeah. But you can also bring your own helmet. <clears throat> oh, that's different. Okay. Yeah. It's not like the thought of somebody else's head having been in it. I'm not yeah. I'm not picky about it. I don't really care. Yeah. Um, plus I know you've got to clean them and stuff. But sure. like that they're so like big and tight on your whole yeah. head. Yeah. But safety first. Yeah. And on my kids, I don't care. Put it on. Yeah. Yeah. We don't care about that. No, we can I replace mean, them. Make new ones. Make them look just, just said like you them. wouldn't. If I have, if I end up with a seventh kid, the world is in danger. If you end up with a seventh kid, I just want to follow you around and document it. Yeah, <laughs> Not, me with my own child. Yes, mm-mm, that mm-mm, part. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That would be great. A I'm little either, Jimmy, come on. I'm either going to rule the world or ruin the world. I think rule. Very possible. Anyway, so K1 Speed coming. Yep. Hopefully, opening the doors January one. Yep exciting advanced leveling still out there saving the world one foundation at a time yep and and jason and chris and joby are my partners yes. for k1 speed yep yes i always wonder if i pronounce their last name right i thought it was job is it job i don't know but you would know more than i would i'll just call them by their first names well i think it is job now i want to call ask oh let's ask <laughs> We're, he's texting them right now to figure this out who knows Anyway, so y'all are going to have that going. Advanced uh, leveling is still in it to win it. And then you're building homes. Yes. You're busy. And you have other endeavors that we don't we don't need to get into, but you you do have like Wait, all the pokers in the fire. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got we got this little problem we're working on. <laughs> yes, it's in one. Vegas. I'm going next week for it. Oh my gosh. It is funny, though. Yeah. All right. Well, we will link everybody up uh, on the podcast. And oh, hey, look at here. Did he answer? Hey. Hey. I got you on What's the radio. This? You're live. Hello. Oh, my. Hey, how do you pronounce your last name? Job or Joby? Job. 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 All right. We're, we're bragging on who my partners are. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> anyway, hi. Hi. So I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Question answered. Yeah. Dang, I was wrong. Imagine that. A man wrong. Look at that. Mm, give me some butter. I'm on a roll. <laughs> hey, remind me to tell you about what? my buddies putting air in my shampoo and making all my hair fall out that time. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. True okay. story. I don't doubt it. It burned. Air? Uh, nair. When he, nair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all my I heard air. Out. I was like, how did that how did that burn? Now it all makes sense. Yeah. I don't see how y'all use that, man. See, look. Dude, I don't. Oh my gosh, you're baldy. Yeah. <laughs> my head. Well, at least you've got a good looking head. Have you seen some men that are bald and you just see dips and divots? I can't look at another man's head and think <laughs> that's sexy. Got so you can head. look at something else and think it's sexy? No wonder your granddaddy asked you. Now who's gonna get Dubbed or taken out. <laughs> it was going to get edited me. Oh, that's my vice president. Calling? Mm-hmm. Jimmy's busy today. Is You're there on any- the radio. <laughs> You're on the radio. Are you recording a commercial? No. <laughs> You're on the radio? That was my well, 1030 we're doing a, meeting. We're doing a podcast. Uh, well, I was calling. 
Well, Steve, you made it. Now you were doing. All right. I'm doing great. Call you later. <laughs> Bye. Made it. I should give out her number. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> More sound effects. This I'm is going to be you. my favorite one. This is going to be. This is going to have to be the first one we publish. He's so rogue. See, all right, I tied that in there. So clever. Oh, crickets. I like that one. Yeah, that's Especially what I hear when I ask a woman out. Hey, crickets. You, you want to go have some tacos? <laughs> I'd say yes, but then I'd be like, "Let's bring Scott," and then yeah. he'd be like, "The oh. wah wah." Well, hey, Mike, where you at? Wah wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i don't get asked out much oh do you want to go get some tacos don't tease a fat boy I... <laughs> p-h-a-t P- <laughs> pretty hot and tempting no stop okay that is officially the end of this podcast today <laughs> jimmy thank you for coming out today i appreciate it yes I'll, ma'am i'll bribe you with donuts anytime this is fun i'm in Good deal. Hey, people, if you want to learn more about your foundation, keeping it safe and keeping your house up, right, give Jimmy a call or go to fixitjimmy.com. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's and, us. And keep an eye out for K1 Speed coming, uh, hopefully next year. Actually. What? Yeah, Jimmy. No, wait. What? Yeah, fixitjimmy.com. That's it. That's it. What did I say? I don't know. I don't know. Are you on painkillers today? No. Oh, you got some? Do you wish you had some? I don't <laughs> no, have any. I don't take them. <laughs> I don't like them. Uh, you like just I'm not being supposed right to be here. able to drive with this thing on my foot. I don't know how you're walking around. I got a pimp limp. You do? You have a pimp I carry cane. it well. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you really do. I've got one that's actually got the, um, what is that, the, the thing that you zap people with? Like uh, a taser? Yeah, it's a taser cane. <gasps> yeah. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Like just for fun. Yeah. You want tacos? Nope. <laughs> you want tacos? <laughs> it's weird women say no to that. Odd. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Much love. All right. You have a good day. Adios. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Do you have a topic you want to talk about? Do you have questions about Waco, the real estate market, how to sell your house, what to look for when you're buying a home? Send me an email, ericaSellsTexas at gmail.com. Shoot me a text, 254-447-0180. Happy to chat about it. Find me anywhere you listen to your podcasts or at RogueMediaNetwork.com. Hey there, golf lovers. Looking to step up your game? Let me tell you about Molly Box, the ultimate golf subscription box. Every month, Molly Box sends you a box packed with premium golf gear, accessories, and stylish apparel, all delivered right to your door. Imagine getting top tier apparel and more, all handpicked just for you. With Molly Box, you'll stay ahead of the game and boost your performance. It's like having a personal caddy in a box. So why wait? Join the Molly Box family today. Head over to mollybox.com and use your limited time promo code ROGUE25, ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E-25 for 25% off your first box. That's mollybox.com.